guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, which means it's the day before my interview, so that's a little scary. But we're gonna practice for that and study up for that later tonight. Right now, I'm gonna go to my grandma's house and give her a painting that I just finished for her, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So a little while ago, I did a painting just for fun for our living room, and my grandma really liked it. She asked if she could have a similar one for her living room. So I just finished it this morning and I wanna bring it over to her, but it's still wet, it's oil, so it's gonna take a long time to dry, like weeks, maybe months. So I'm just gonna bring it over as carefully as I can in my car and um, hopefully she likes it. So we're gonna see if we can manage to get it into my car and to her house without getting the oil paint on my car or on me or on her. So <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do. Um, but I'm really excited for her to see it. So let's go figure that out. This is the one that's in my living room, right in the entryway, and I know it's a little crazy and kind of looks a little mysterious, but that's just what I was feeling that day. It's just mixed media, it's a lot of different paint, um, a lot of globs of oil. All these globs are all oil, and I finished this a few months ago, and it is still wet, so that just shows you how long oil takes to dry. And she really liked this one. She wants one with white for her house because she has a lot of wood paneling on the wall. She wants to brighten it up with some white. So I tried to kind of um, do something similar, but I did keep it a little more feminine on hers. So we will go look at that right now. Roses are from this magazine that my mom saved. It's like a gardening magazine and there was a lot of roses so I tried using mainly the pinks like over here too but then I wanted to add a little bit more red up in this corner and have it kind of cascade down so that's what that's from. These pages are from a Great Gatsby book actually. We had a few for some reason so I ripped up one of them and I kind of used that as like a little wallpaper in the back whitewashed a little bit over here and then down here I completely put white over all of it but it just creates some dimension and actually my grandma is the poet laureate of Encinitas she's been writing poems for years and she's really good at it and uh, she actually wrote me a poem in 1999 called Mimi Smiles and she gives me a copy of it every year on my birthday in a card so I actually ripped up a copy that I had in my room so here's the title and it goes from here to this one here and then down here is like the very end of it, Trish Duggar, December 30th, 1999. And then this was at the bottom of it, it says Nana. So I really like that, it just makes it kind of special. In the poem, she talks about me wanting to paint my fingernails pink, so that's why I kind of used a lot of pink roses. She asked for a weird, mysterious white painting with color thrown on it, like I usually do, so that's what she's getting. <laughs> Although I do have to sign it somewhere, I totally forgot, so. I guess I should do that really quickly. I just have to put my shoes on and then I'm gonna go head out and try to put the painting in my car if that is possible. <laughs> we managed to get it in the car very safely and as of now there's no red in my car so we're doing good. And I really can't wait to see her reaction. I know she's like obligated to like it because I'm her granddaughter but I hope she actually does. So let's see what happens. My dog is right behind my car. I hate this. All of my animals are so small that you can't see them and it terrifies me. Gotta wait. Also, I forgot to mention that I have to hang this, probably by myself, with wet oil globs all over it and a white shirt. So, <laughs> I did not plan this very well. Did I mention she lives in a beautiful area? Look at that, that's the ocean. It's a little cloudy, but you get the idea. We're here. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how many plants she has. It's so beautiful. I'm leaving right now. She really liked it, so I'm really happy about that. And it looks really nice because the painting is mostly white and there is um, wood paneling on the wall. So it just kind of brightens that whole thing and it really stands out against the wood. So it's just kind of a good combination overall. And I'm just really pleased with it and I'm really happy she likes it. Now I'm gonna go to the gym, but it's already eight o'clock, so I'm just gonna go for a little bit because I wanna have time tonight to prepare for my interview. So 
I'm just gonna go for a little bit, just sweat and just kind of get my nerves out and then go home and prepare. Also, when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys what else I got for my interview outfit. And um, I think I have everything, but I haven't tried it on yet. So that's kind of not good. I'm a little nervous, but it'll probably look fine. So I'll show you guys when I get home. I had to stop and get some onions from my dad because he's making spaghetti, but now we are finally turning into my neighborhood. Also, I have this giant kale bunch right here in my car because my aunt gave it to me for the rabbits that we have at home but my whole car smells like kale now which I didn't even know was a smell but it is <laughs> and it's not that pleasant I guess I do have a while tomorrow though because the interview is not until 1 30 but I don't want to wait until the day of to start preparing that would just stress me out more than I already am while my parents cook dinner, I thought I would show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got from my interview. So you guys already saw the two shirt options I got from H&M. It was this collared shirt with this kind of like French print on it. And then this is just a more traditional one with the stripes and like a high neck. So those are two options. Then the other day I got pants from Marshalls and they are Karl Lagerfeld, and they were originally 80 bucks, but I got them for, I think, $24.99, which is really good. So it's this really nice, thick material, and then it tapers down skinnier to the bottom, so it's kind of like a modern fit, and then it's cropped a little bit, so your ankle shows, like, right about here. So they look nice. I really wanted, like, a charcoal gray pair, but I swear I've been to, like, eight stores, and I could not find them anywhere, in my size, at least. <laughs> also, I just did my nails today, so they're all fresh from my interview, in case he goes to shake my hand. <laughs> so the spaghetti that my parents is cooking, that's hard to say, this spaghetti. So the, sp so the spaghetti, I've tried to say that like 10 times, the spaghetti that my parents are making smells really good. So I'm gonna go out there and work on my computer and just research the company a little bit. I think it's really good to get some talking points, just learn about the company so that you're not completely clueless when you go in and talk to them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. It's about nine o'clock now, and um, I have tomorrow too until I leave for my interview, but I still want to get a head start tonight. Oh my god, chickens! Okay, well if you can hear me, I've decided last minute to switch shoes. I really like these ones better. They go with the pants better. They're like a cooler tone neutral, and they're really cute, and they're just like a little heel, but they're like open on the side. I really like these, because these ones are the ones I was going to wear, and they just clash too much with the pants. So, these are the final choice, but I really like them. Okay, so I'm about to head out to my interview, and before I did, I wanted just to show you guys the final outfit. I kind of feel like a borderline senator, but I still really like it. Um, I'm wearing these pearls, and just did my hair straight, and I wore this shirt. I chose the French print one. So let's do this. It's about a 30 minute drive, it's not too bad, and I think my mom's gonna go, because we're gonna have lunch afterwards, and it'll kind of help me prepare on the way down too. Hey Bella! Hi! <laughs> Bella's wishing me some luck right now. I have a couple minutes for my interview so I'm just at a cafe right now. Full of nerves. I want to get this over with. I'm gonna leave it about 10 minutes. I'm down in San Diego right now. I'm right outside of the place. I'm gonna go in in about one minute and I'm really nervous but I'm finally all ready and I have my lipstick on and have my resume and everything so yeah we'll just catch you when I get back. So I'm gonna head in. And now that I'm done with that terrifying experience, I'm gonna go to lunch now with my mom and we are in North Park Hillcrest area in San Diego. Also, I have some exciting news since I didn't get offered a job right now. <laughs> I'm going to Canada tomorrow with my parents. We leave in the morning and we're gonna be gone for a week and we are going to British Columbia. We have a little cabin up there, a town called Rosalind and I haven't been in like six or seven years, so. I can't wait. I'm back home now and Bella wants to say hi. So like I said, on my way home, I'm going to Canada tomorrow and I actually haven't been on a trip with just my parents. I think ever actually. Usually my brother goes, so that should be fun. And um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna go for a while because I didn't know how the interview would go. I didn't know if they would say start Monday or if they would say, I'll, you know, I'll get back to you at the end of the week. So I was kind of waiting until I got done with the interview to decide if I was going or not. And I am, so I couldn't be more excited. But I love going up there because there's lakes and there's trails and biking and everything, so it's very outdoors, and it'll just be nice to get away. 
Not that I'm too stressed right now here, but <laughs> still. Hi. So now for the rest of the day, I just have to pack and get a few more things and then we're headed out tomorrow morning. Also, thank you to everyone who's wished me good luck on this interview. I really appreciate it and I feel very thankful for all 1,000 of you. <laughs> This has been growing very fast. So thank you to everyone for following me and I hope the content is fairly interesting. <laughs> Once I start working, it might actually be a little more interesting, but I still appreciate it either way. And Bella really loves this. She likes being on camera. Yes. <laughs> I didn't really go in depth in the car about how the interview went just because I had called and told a bunch of people about it right afterwards and said the same thing over and over again. But overall, I feel really good about it. They just asked the, you know, the basic interview questions. Um, I do feel a little under experienced for an architecture firm since I'm not an architect, obviously, but um, the position is for, you know, helping out with the design and the modeling, which I do feel comfortable doing. So, oh my God, there's cat hair all over my face. Bella. <laughs> so I don't know. Honestly, I'm just happy that I had an interview and it is a little, you know, embarrassing if I don't get it because there's a thousand of you out there that's going to know about it if I don't get it. But I feel like that's just life and everything is a learning experience. So I'm really grateful that I did it regardless. Oh my God, her hair is flying all over my face. Um, but I think just with every interview, it's just gonna keep getting better. So yeah. I also wanna give a little shout out to everyone that called me or texted me some words of advice this morning. My brother called me right before my interview and he was like, I just wanted to give you some words of advice. I was like, okay, what is it? He's like, good luck. I was like, Thanks for the advice, brother, but it's still something and it helped. And my boyfriend actually told me to just be confident, even if you're not, just fake it. And that's kind of what I did. And I acted like I knew what I was doing and talking about. So I think that might have helped me. Hopefully it did, um, but I appreciate the words of advice. All right, thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe and comment below.